then this another member of us, Chandrasekhar. Now he has done a, uh, this workshop for rehabilitation center for social vendors in Hyderabad. Why is that? And this complex you can see down below is the complex, very large number of buildings. But he has used shells everywhere to cover them. And there are cylindrical shells and uh, other domes, etc. You can see a close up on the top left. And uh, there are a whole lot of buildings, all using shells. This is uh, another big building with some domes and shells at the roof. So, then, I don't know whether he is here. No. Because he has done in Manisha writing a, a, a uh, industrial large span buildings, but he is, um, he is very proud of the, the facades with different colors and all street facades. But this is 35 meter wide bay, 280 meter long. It's a large span with the uh, <coughs> figures and all that, which is all in sea. But uh, he's very proud of the multicolored <coughs> cards, <coughs> the cards, etc., which uh, have the beauty to the entire complex. Dr. Ravi Kutta. Yes, he is there. Now he <coughs> has done, I one didn't know, that he completely precast this test building. You see, so much has been done, in, it's in Manesa, it is precast retention building with 12 meter span and loading 2 ton per meter square. It's fantastic. And these are all <coughs> some of the elements, right? Yeah. It shall be used, and uh, <coughs> this is a complete building. It's precast, completely pre-stressed, <coughs> meter two ton per meter square. You can see that. Beautiful buildings. Then he has done another one in corporate office, where there are 24 story buildings basements, etc., shear walls, and grade 8.4. And at the top, this is during construction, we check that this 20 meter high spire. If we go at the top, we have <coughs> not been generous enough to give one complete photograph of a complete building, right? I haven't clicked yet. Yeah. Well, yeah, VP is, is here or not here? No. No. But no. VP has done beautiful buildings. There are 12 cottages. Where is it? Ronakpur. And uh, it has lovely tall walls and steel structure. Very delicately stair, with a cantilever roof, and uh, it's uh, you know this beautiful stone wall. And the, the cottages are up above. The cottages, these very the steel elements which cover there, they are projected out and they are localized in some manner. It's quite delicately done. Uh, then there is some wall plaza which he has done with large spans and uh, atrium and he has done factories at Manesa with beautiful facades and, and all beautiful spans, lovely buildings. Then uh, come to Calcutta, Calcutta, Dr. Ganguly are these here. They have done, everybody who goes to passes through this convention. This is a science city, Calcutta. For those of you who have not known, I doesn't see it's very interesting reading. Really. Number of them, I've just picked up two. This dilemation. 
Building and Convention Center. We used to draw big buildings. There are a whole lot of other buildings too. But uh, this is the Innovation Center, which is a, a spiral shaped ramp uh, like a good night museum. It attracts quite an attention and there is inside all the exhibitions are there. This is the same Innovation Building. And this is a Convention Center with two, uh, you know, domes are uh, uh, called. It, has, it, it uh, houses uh, an auditorium, a main auditorium, a mini auditorium, the conference center, with all the entire administrative, etc., etc. Quite beautiful structure. It's all structure. Now, we come to the last, I think this trend we sent from the last day, slides. From the car, that uh, he says he is just operating there, and uh, he sent what he has done. And in Khan, we know the slides and uh, what not, earthquakes, and he has done some uh, small, some building housing, and he sent this photograph like that. I would like to show them because uh, they, they look quite delicate and very precariously positioned. So, friends, these are the projects of some of the projects which I received. I have shown you. Now, uh, do you want me to continue? Of with course. Others? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, I will quickly run through the projects which I have done, but I won't speak too much. I'll just show the slides. Is that all right? Right. Yes, sir. <coughs> A little bit. So this was way back in 60, 60 months. There was a, 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 a <coughs> garage building down below, in which uh, the owners wanted to use FAR. They got FAR, and they wanted to use FAR. So this Italian architect came to me, and I suggested there was no way of knowing anything what the existing columns had and what the foundations were. So we pierced through the existing building wherever we put and uh, then made new footings, uh, piles and large columns and branched them off and carried them up So it became quite an interesting. So which year? 61. 61. 61. 61. Your first building out of the the first building. <coughs> yeah, this was the... Then this also this was a stadium in Ahmedabad, 63, 65. This all folded plate stadium, but only one sector was built at that time. This was the slanting edge and uh, fold and mirrors. Then seats were all precast. Then this uh, in 64 with the <laughs> day. Mm -hmm. It attracted a lot of attention at that time and it was just the structure itself. It uh, was quite a delicate structure. And this Tagore Memorial Hall in Ahmedabad, Roshi, again folded plate because uh, in the front is the Carusius Museum. You see, when we had to do this, Roshi and I, both of us were very nervous that. The rest of the building which can hold itself in front of the museum. But uh, we managed to do something which is holding itself. This is the inside. This is also inside. The influence of Nervi is there shaping the columns, you know, to suit the forces. Then this is, uh, this is a uh, Raja Ivory. This is a uh, I think very terrible life in Bombay. Then Sri Ram Center, this everybody has seen. It is 31 meter by 31 meter plate with uh, 6 meter cantilevers and 94 uh, columns. It's a carrying the upper two floors and the lower drum, etc. is separate. It has its own structure. That is the upper. The lower drum is separate. You know, I hold and the mass, large uh, concrete, steel, 
the roof is at steel, they say, until your liability. Thank <laughs> you. 
this one is new to left hand side. Yeah, this also we have seen, but it is a very daring structure of the <coughs> So because we will be more than 70 cents from here. We have again Raj Reval, 50 meter by 54 meter because it was supported on this source. Yeah, this is very interesting. We have, there are two air rank shear walls sloping inside, and then there are inside our columns which go up and down the bend. And uh, you see, these, these are two sets of plots opposite each other connected to the corridor. And the corridor is structured because it, uh, where you see those metals, there, tables go through the corridor. And because it is tension, very heavy tension of the, in the columns. And where you have the invert, there is nothing. There is compression, the tension, the compression. The two blocks. Science Center, you've seen it here. It's nice. You can solve a book, Mr. Carson's contribution for the, the, the book. Then this is another hall. It's uh, 22 by 25, four halls, and the, the central hall is 44 by 24. All of states. It's also the haunted. And this is the scope complex and very good to go through. People are yawning. Uh, <laughs> getting late, sorry. Uh, this is a, a, quite a delicate structure because the course, the, the, the course uh, gives the stability, the earthquake stability, and we cannot very economical. <coughs> These are buildings in different materials. Uh, this is Dan Bhavan, Gopal, interesting buildings. This is a very, I mean, <laughs> a, there are two curves on either side which are not parallel, which are staggered. So you generate hyperbolic parabola. And the center line makes a straight line. So the, the supporting elements get a lot of tension. We were very scared to build it. But uh, I mean, because uh, the analysis uh, showed it is all right, but uh, I got a model done in Kanpur, you know, to test it. Because uh, there was a whole lot of tension which was coming in the periphery numbers. These are, this is about 30 meter by 30 meter all over the course, all over the course, the course is cleared up. This is a small delicate structure, flower like in flower market. I think these, uh, the Shinos architect stood there and got this beaches like uh, empty structures. And they were built very elegant now. Yeah, this is a another delicate sort of a tree structure. The lion's front, so you have all seen it. I won't. It's a lot aerosol on four columns. This is also this side uh, next building. It's quite interesting. Interesting in doing different types. We have arches, domes, in which he is lined outside, inside the bricks. This is a 16 by 16 meter by 16 meter foot uh, waffle slabs we have done. They came out quite, and these are uh, molds and fiberglass molds, which in Bangalore are quite popular. It has come out quite interesting with uh, two, three drops. This is with my son. My son is an architect. and. Uh, 
and uh, this is something which is done with him. Uh, these are arched 68 meter steel, but uh, turned for the arrival and the departure. He, he, the orientation was changed, as you can see at the One orientation, the other side is further orientation, but the short side is on that side. But they uh, make very extensive use of uh, Charlie's, you know, to get the local character. And this is the last slide of uh, this is also with my son. This is in Olympic in a village. The roof is of solar panels, you know. Somebody had donated the solar panels and donated some ten lights to the structure and it was it has to act as a community center of the village also and uh, uh, the solar panels that which provide electricity. Now so that's the end of my projects. Now if you still want me to go on I can I can stop here. So, Let's I would go like to show you our son slides. Oh, this is uh, well. Now these are projects of other artists, brilliant projects, structural projects, and there's some quotation talks of it. This is Auroville, I think. Uh, the structure inside, done by SCRC Madras. Now, these are, I'm, I'll just go through, because these are brilliant engineers who have done brilliant buildings. And I'll, I don't, I won't speak <coughs> to you, you that yourself. This is the Bhai Temple, the Rome Bhai Temple. Done by Flint and me, the engineers and Sava, the architect. This is one of the towers. This is Ren uh, Sopiano and Richard Moses and Mountain in Paris. By the way, this, this it was controversial at that time, 1971, 77, very controversial. Really. And, uh, but it's all structure when you go inside. It is just structured and structure was manufactured in Germany. Steel, huge trusses. But the only thing, all the structures shook completely. It's beautiful. You can see on the top, these are huge trusses which were all manufactured. And the joints were uh, very, very interesting joints. These are I don't have to speak, you know, you see how this structure is like you have seen this. I think you went to, you must have seen it. Uh, it's a beautiful It's got the fitting, uh, uh, fitting SNG uh, award in this yes. Yes. Uh, Beautiful. John was the architect and all of them the associates for the engineers. Now these are some of the very beautiful Santiago Calatrava is a living architect who is uh, all our living architects except the Fazulu Khan who passed away. But he is an artist, a sculptor, an engineer, and an architect. It's an amazing combination. All in one. All in one. And look what he has created. Uh, just pass. These are all creations. It's absolutely amazing what he has created. Absolutely amazing. And these buildings have been honored, you know, all over the world and in Mawati Museum of Modern Art, which is very selective to the they have shown his buildings, uh, the exhibition of his. This is the art museum. 
the buildings and uh, how much respect he gives to the structure. This is uh, it's all his buildings. Then we come to Yamasaki who says that in architecture the key to simplicity and aesthetic beauty lies in the structure of the building. The skeletal framework of birds, animals, or human beings has much to do with man's assessment of their beauty. When that framework disappears because of its covering, as in a hip-hop tablet, or a pig, the impression is usually one of ugliness, regardless of how interesting the underlying form of the animal may be. That's his thoughts. And it's, uh, unfortunately, we don't have any speaking anymore. This was his creation. Inside, so outside you know, the building, it was a beautiful structure, but unfortunately. Now, Mies van der Rohe, who was the <coughs> father of architecture perhaps in America, he came from Germany. Before Mies, and this tells you all of you, you must uh, understand it very carefully. Before Mies, once the structure had served the purpose of making a building stand, it was hidden and masked and made to disappear. And how successfully it was achieved was the mayor of the architect's integrity. That was for Mies. However, Mies observed the power and strength of railroad stations, bridges, and exhibition halls designed by engineers, where technology, aesthetics, and art, technology, aesthetics, and art merged in creation of the structural forms, and he transferred this philosophy of design to buildings. Now, that is means to huh? Yeah. So these are his buildings. Then, right, whom everybody respects, but he has to say about the structure. Even though in some of his earlier works, the structural integration tended to come last. Yet, he was most specifically pleased with any building when it's structural rather than simply its spatial and sculptural aspects were intrinsic to the whole. That was right. However, later in his career, it was the structure which came first in the process of integration. Now you can see what respect these stalwarts said. This is more than I. This is the famous building in Falling Water, one of his first buildings in the Cantilevers. And like Arbuzier, the master, the, the EU is master, most correct, you see, he was fond of concrete. So, Work is the use of concrete in manifold, original ways. He uses it to support and enclose his buildings. He textures it, pierces and penetrates it, uses it tenderly and brutally. He makes it the vehicle for his tourist lyrical expression. His concept of the vertical city, as demonstrated in the Marseille block, requires that was one of the first buildings, tall buildings, in which he you know, it, he got so much acclaim. No, no, he got acclaim earlier also, but uh, for tall buildings, brutal buildings. Because it's far and fidelity from the expressive brutal structure, which is highly sculptural in form, we are true to the flow of courses. Lata Guzzi's work is integration of art, architecture, sculpture, structure, content, and form. All these aspects are well demonstrated in his works, such as Chandigarh. This is a, this is a, the Secretariat building. I worked on, this is the, the, the assembly building. I didn't work on this, but High Court, I worked on this. This is not a church. This is a brutal building in Marseille. I, when I, I was so impressed because I worked there, known him, I met him. So when I went to America in 1955, 
a group which was in Paris to go and meet him in his office. And it was and then went to Marseille to direct this building. It was uh, see for myself. Now we come to our own master, Nervi. Considering architecture, if the approach to a problem is simple, humble, honoring the functional, structural, and other technical requirements, as well as economic consideration, and with sensitivity, the probability of achieving an aesthetically satisfactory expression is high, even if it does not make it up to the law. So, other people say that it does. These are some of his buildings which I think most of you know. Now, this is the last. Rowdy, you all know. But you, I don't know how many of you know <coughs> what was his method of designing. Gaudi spent 10 years working on studies for the design of Sagrada and the church. That's a big church in Barcelona, if you go there. And developing a new method of structural calculation based on stereoelastic models built with cords and small sets of pallets. The outline of the church was traced on a wooden board which was then placed on the ceiling of a small house next to the bird side. Cords were hung from the points where columns were to be placed. Small sacks filled with pallets being one thing, etc. He put these pallets in and will show you what he did. Then he reversed it. This is the church, which was built on that principle. It's a beautiful church, you can go and take a look at it. Parts of it is still under construction. This is a model of the church. This is how, how we planned it. The, the outline, ceiling, and these are all little, little cords, and you see this? That's how we planned it. Fantastic. Gaudi is also and his buildings it's good there, there, there. The beautiful buildings. They haunt you. Well, this is one of his buildings. Now friends, I have come to the last. Before I conclude, I would like to say that the response to my request sent to all members of our association a slides and information on the projects which could be included in this presentation was not that great as you have seen. There are only we have so many members but only twelve or thirteen agreed to send. Just as well. Otherwise I would have had to work much harder for this presentation. And it would have taken much more time. Already our best is very anxious for me to conclude. But even with a Meager response. The hidden talent in members of our association, which has come to light during this presentation, is very heartening. I hope you all agree. Yes. 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 That we did not know. Nobody knew what Mr. A and Mr. B was doing, except now. Only our president showed his works recently. Otherwise, one didn't know what he was doing. Nobody and what Sangeeta was doing, the, those like, haunting eyes. We must plan programs to learn more of the work being done by all our members and organize intensive technical interactions. That is for you, Harsh, between them so that knowledge and expertise acquired by some can be shared by all. That is, the works of Kalatrava Kandela, Nervi, Fazal Khan, Norman Foster, Frank Lightray, Yamasaki, and others, renowned engineers and architects, should keep us reminding how far we have to go. We, we should keep, that's why I showed all those. 
you know, sorry I took some time. You must always remember the structure is an essential element of architecture. Total integration, a function, form, structure, and architecture can elevate a building to a work of art, as stated by Kurt C. To achieve this integration, it becomes necessary to synthesize opposing requirements of form, function, and technology. In addition, it becomes necessary to cope with the heat of inspiration and the coolness of scientific reason, the freedom of imagination, and the iron laws of economy, as stated by Jeremy. Well, we started with a haunting eye, and now we end with a haunting eye. So these are from Gaudi. That one was from Thank you.